Action Movie. Today's video is going to be called How to Access Your Akashic Records. And first things first, I want to say, I want to speak on something first. Let me scoot back. I know somebody like, damn, you close. <laughs> Alright, but anyway, look, check this out. Before I start, I just want to say this, right? A lot of people I come across, they think I f I'm into myself, like I'm just cocky and blah, blah, blah. I think I'm better than everybody. Now, first things first, I always say this. You the 13, just like I'm the 13. We all have 13 chakras. We all have 13 major joints in our body. You haven't become a 13 yet because you haven't mastered yourself. I'm not going to say I mastered myself completely, but I damn near mastered a lot of myself. Trust me. See, a lot of this stuff I always say I've been new as a kid. Like, you always supposed to come back with common knowledge. A lot of people, they don't have common knowledge because they don't have common sense. That's why they do the things they do is called nonsense because they have no senses. They can't feel anything. They have no remorse. So it's like this, right? People ask me, oh, why your head look like this and blah, blah, blah. Like, you see me? I got pajamas on. High five shirt on, I don't give a shit. You know why? Because I gave a lot of stuff back to people. You know what I'm saying? Love, detachment. I give away to people. People don't get this type of stuff. Like, I give, I'm giving to somebody that's in need. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to come back to me tenfold, or shall I say thirteenfold, because I know how universal law works. Once you detach from something, you got to attract something back to you. People don't get this. Like me, I'm going on natural. See, I like myself like this. I don't gotta impress nobody, you know why? Because I can impress my damn self. Can you impress yourself? That's the thing. That's the question. Can you impress yourself? That's all I'm saying. Can you imp can you impress yourself? Like, that's it? Like, that's all I'm trying to say. Like, I can do what I want to because I know who I am. You can do what you want to too. Once you learn who you are. Like, people don't get it. Once you have faith in the universe and faith in yourself, can't nobody touch you. When I say touch on me like just that, no, I'm talking about can't nobody touch you. It's like, let's say you get into a situation or a, a jam, you know what I'm saying? Like slang, like you get into the jam, right? You can get out like that because you got spirits around you that's helping you. You got your ancestors around you that's helping you. See, people don't get the type of stuff. See, I've been spiritual all my life. I just, just now figuring it out. Like, not just now, but like a couple years back, I'm just now figuring it out. You see what I'm saying? Like, I always used to see myself doing some stuff. I'm looking like, hold on. I'm doing some raw ass shit, but I wasn't really like able to control it. You feel what I'm saying? But now that I can't control it, I can do so many things. But people don't get this type of stuff. See, people just they just think whatever, blah blah blah. I, like I said, I'm not better than nobody. You become the 13 once you start finding out who you are. And I be trying to tell people to eat right and stuff like that. You don't gotta change your life around. Just eat right, cause once you eat right, your life's gonna change by itself. That's all I'm trying to do. That's all I'm trying to help you. Like, do your research. Go type in your computer. What's in our foods? Go type in the computer, what is Wendy serving? Go type in the computer, what is McDonald's serving? And blah, blah, blah. Like, have you seen that video? I burned some cheese. Me and my sister was outside. That shit was not burning. Like, it was burning after at a while, but that shit was not burning. Like, yeah, like, it did not want to burn. It wasn't melting or nothing. So it's like you eating plastic. But, hey, I don't know anything. Hey, I'm doing it myself. I'm not watching nobody else do it. I'm burning it myself. Hey, hey I don't know what I'm talking about, right? But anyway, like I was saying, how to access your Akashic Records. Now, I must say, look, I had a conversation with this dude, I know, a couple of days ago, right? And I, I don't know how it started, but I said something like, I died in a past life. That's why I go as hard as I do in this life. He told me, that's just a joke, blah, blah, blah. And this other dude, I'm not going to say no names because I don't like to say names in my video unless people want me to. But he looked, this other dude was like, I know what you're talking about. He's like, I really know what you're talking about. I didn't do that. That's just a joke, man. I'm like, I died in a past life before. That's why I go as hard as I do in this life. You know why? Because it's like, I don't know if I'm the only person that feels this, but it's like, you ever felt that feeling like you be thinking in your head, like random like places just pop up in your head. Like you, like, it's like you, like you see, I'm, I'm talking like, I'm talking about me, right? But I'm talking about you. So basically, let me try to break it down for you. Basically, I'm saying like, you be thinking in your head, right? Let's say you in your head, but you in a place walking like you're in a forest or something. And you looking like, I feel like I've been in that forest before. That's a past life. You feel what I'm saying? That's a past memory. Like, I be having thoughts like that. Like, I could be like, I'd be in a place with palm trees or something. And it just feel like I've been there before. See, that's a past life. You feel what I'm saying? That's your Akashic Records. It's like, your Akashic Records is halfway open, halfway closed. Now, it's like, I don't know if I'm the only person that feels like this, but it's like, sometimes I just feel like I've done something before. Like my homie Rayquan, Beach Ruckus, the dude I be doing the videos with, 
He um like he be saying to me like I don't he said like he <laughs> but this what he said he said every time a new song comes out it felt like he heard it before. See that's a past life. That's like a lot of the stuff is just it's all like re it's like remastered remakes reruns type of stuff like it just sampled and looped differently. It's the same shit from past lives and years ago. It just different like different people like it could be the same person like same soul different people because reincarnation is real it's just looped differently and like it may be edited in a certain way but he was like i hear this he like i heard this before like me for example like it's like i used to be like um like for example i say something right like in the past i say something like when i used to watch tv uh, i'd be in front of the tv and i'd be like somebody gonna come out with a movie like this blah 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 or i'd be like I'm gonna come out with a movie like this, talking about like a random thing. Like for example, I say like I'm gonna come out with a movie talking about space shuttles or cars that's dancing or something. And then next, you know, like two months later, somebody come out with that movie. Not that exact same example, but you know what I'm saying. Along them lines, like I say something, and then next, you know, a couple months later, somebody will literally come out with that song or literally come out with that movie. I'm looking like, hold on, I know I'm not crazy, but at the same time, back then, see, I was drinking the fluoride. Hella Kool Aid and all this type of stuff. So it's kind of like you, kind of like you shaky looking. Like, did I really say that? But I knew I said that. It used to happen so many times. Like, I say something, somebody will literally come out with a song or a movie. I'm dead ass serious. That's a part of your Akashic records. I'm a part of like past memories or like just your memory bank. Like, this part in the back of your head. Like, you know how you feel the back of your head and it kind of like curve in and come out like a crescent moon. That's your Akashic records back there. That's where all your memories and past lives is held in, right? Now, this is how you access your Akashic Records. It's multiple ways, but this is the way the 13th Sun said it, but I'm going to break it down to you in my way. It's like this, right? You go in the mirror, right? And you stare into your own eyes. You stare into your eyes, right? But you just stare. You don't blink. You just stare into your own eyes. You're supposed to turn the lights off to keep it dark because once it's actually working and you actually focus on, like, walking in your halls, like, basically, it's like you looking in your eyes in the mirror, right? And while you're looking in your eyes in the mirror, you're picturing yourself walking through your head. But as you're walking through your head, you're picturing, like, doors on each side. Like, this side of your head, this side of your head, it's like doors. As you walk through your head, it's like doors. And as you keep walking, some doors may have chains on them. That's how mine be. Some doors may not have chains on them. Some doors may look like portals and shit like that. But you're just walking through, and you're just walking through straight. And this stuff is going to be popping up doors. Like, ah, ha, like, you know, memories, like. Past memories from like the life you're living in, past memories from there, and past memories from your past life. It's gonna be jumping at you, like it's jumping at you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta just keep walking, just keep walking. And as you're walking, you're gonna get to a point where you're gonna see somebody on the throne and you're gonna see a treasure chest right there. And I don't know, this how mine work. I'm just saying, like, this is how it goes. This is the first one. And it's like the treasure chest gonna open and a big, like, a, just a big glowing light gonna come out. And it's like all your memories is going to come out and you can see them. Like you can touch them and pick which ones you want to look at and grab. And it's like you're not going to look like how you look in this life because it's a past life. You know what I'm saying? Past memory. You was somebody else. You could have been an animal. You could have been a white guy. I'm just saying so-called white guy. You could have been a so-called black guy. You could have been a zebra anything. I'm just giving you an example. Like it's your treasure trust is going to open. It's just like pick which memory you're going to look at. And you look at it and you're going to feel it like, hold on. I know I felt like I did that before. You feel what I'm saying? It's going to be somebody on that throne. And on that throne, as you look up, as you keep walking, it's like it's going to be like four flights of stairs. See, this is just for me. Like It's going to be four flights of stairs, right? And as you walk up the stairs, you're going to see yourself sitting in that chair. And as you look in your face, you remember, you're looking in your eyes in the mirror. But once you start to get into it, as you walk into your head, like picturing yourself walking through your head, you're going to actually be in there. Because it's like your soul is leaving your body and actually walking through your eyes. Like, this is real nigga shit. Like, you ain't with it. You ain't with it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, Remember, like I said, you already looking in your eyes, but what I'm talking about is you being in your head, picturing that, but as you keep doing it, after a certain amount of time, you're going to be literally in there, like, you're going to be like, it feel like a dream, but you're really in there, you feel what I'm saying, so it's like, you walk through your head, so you looking, you looking, you sitting in the throne, right, and as you look at your face while you're on that throne in your head, it's going to be a triangle on your forehead, which is a pyramid, you know what I'm saying, a perfect trinity, mother, father, son, the perfect trinity, right, and then you're going to look in your eyes, right, and you're just going to see all your memories. Like everything is going to come back to you. Boom. But in order to access this, you got to be eating right. you got to be meditating. You have to have a strong energy. I'm telling you, people think it's a joke.